I am Commander Kathy Maser. I'm the commanding officer of the Boston Military Entrance Processing Station. MEPS is the place where applicants come to process into the armed forces, and we are responsible for ensuring quality accessions into the armed forces during both peacetime and during times of mobilization. Well, the day starts, given that the uh, applicant has stayed at the contract hotel overnight, they are given a wake-up call at 4 in the morning, breakfast there at the hotel, and so they're here at the MEPS shortly after 5 o'clock in the morning. My name is Staff Sergeant Michael Weil. I am the MEPS liaison when it comes to anybody for the Air Force. The applicant will come in in the morning and sit down with the liaisons and we will go over what their day is going to entail and what they should expect and yeah normally at about 5.15, 5.30 when they do show up we are the, uh, we are the first face that they, they get to see in the morning. Long gone are the days where applicants are herded into various, you know, large rooms and impersonally treated. Um, we have moved into a red carpet treatment for our applicants where they are treated with dignity and respect. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hey, I'm Sergeant First Class Ketchum. I'm the Operations NCRC here at the Boston MEPS. We reassure them throughout the day, all the time. I mean, yeah, when they first come up on the floor, uh, you know, they come very early in the morning. Um, once we get them uh, signed into the MEPS, we get them all in one area and we give them the morning brief. Once we get down here, you're going to go over to the medical folks. You're going to get a medical briefing and run through that process, okay? Once the briefing is done, you're going to get an exam. You're going to meet with the physicians, okay, and you're going to go through that. Once you're done in medical, you're going to go down to your service liaisons. You're going to sit down with a counselor, and you guys are going to negotiate a job, all right? Once that's complete, you'll come over to the processing section, all right? We'll do what we have to do over there, get you ready to swear in, take the oath of enlistment, and then we'll set up your transportation to take you home. When they do understand the entire process, then we try to make sure that everybody is on the same page and that if there are any concerns, hopefully that an individual feels comfortable enough to raise them before we get started on the day. And um, that way they have a nice, smooth process. They know where they're going, where they're coming from, and then when they come back to see us, they're in a good mood because they know one more spot is done. Uh, I've tried going to school, tried regular jobs, and I just nothing excited me. I've always wanted to join the military. Um, I went through college and um, you know the economy is not the greatest thing right now but I've always wanted to join. Family full of Marines. My uncle did 32, my father did 23 and that'd be awesome to join as well. Become part of brotherhood. And you know I found some opportunities that can be used with my degree and all that kind of stuff and they offer a lot of you know gainful things for what I want to do in the future. We are privileged to have them come into the military. This is a voluntary service. This is not uh, a draft era and so it is um, important to us and to each of my staff to treat those who are, who are interested in serving their country uh, with uh, the respect that they deserve.